Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Thursday to you, everybody. I hope you're doing well as you're making your way out and about on your Easter start of the weekend. A lot of kiddos are on spring break, uh, an Easter weekend break for them. So I hope you've had a chance to take advantage of the nice weather. Unless a lot of our temperatures have been running a little bit above average, more like a lot, roughly 15 degrees in some parts of the area. So I want to keep in mind, again, our average low is 47 right there. So we're not even going to be, we're going to be a little near that, but we're not going to be exactly at 47 degrees tomorrow morning. But the good news is if you're seeing any rain showers, they will quickly dissipate as you make your way out and about on your Thursday night with increasing clear skies. Moving on now to your Good Friday. If you do have tomorrow off, uh, just do, remember it's going to be nice. It's going to be warm. It's going to be not rainy. It's not going to be as chilly, but it's going to be running again 10 degrees or so above the normal 30 year high. We should be right around the low to mid 60s, so not even near we need to be for the start of the month. The mix of sun and clouds and again some warm weather is filtering in. Let's talk about some area wide temperatures for much of our area for your Friday. Again, 73 Martinsville is going to lead the way there. 72 outside of Ridgeway Martinsville Speedway folks. If you're headed out that direction, out towards uh, Sandy Ridge, Axton community, feeling very nice temperature, 71 outside of Boonsville, Rocky Mount, 69 in Ferrum, and she head your way towards west of the 58 corridor and 57 low to mid 60s out there, 70 Stewart Patrick Springs with a mix of sun and clouds. So pretty much a nice day is on tap for your start of the Easter weekend. If you're doing anything outdoors tomorrow, hey, the sun's going to be out there. That'll gonna be the plus side with all this as we have just been last day or two, very big cloudy, but again, the good news, no rain is expected either way as you make your way out and about. Moving on now towards, let's talk about your weekend. It's not, I don't want you to be thinking, uh-oh, it's gonna rain every single day of the weekend. That is the false statement. Let's talk about what's gonna go on through here. So again, Saturday, Friday night, mostly clear skies. We may see a stray shower, but again, things are not gonna be as widespread of some of a heavy rain. Saturday most likely will be barely cloudy with again we'll begin and begin to see increasing clouds later in the morning and then throughout the afternoon we'll begin to see that rain diminish as you make your way out in about high 71. So once again later in the afternoon for Passover if you're doing anything things should be looking okay. Nothing to be worried about either with that. Easter Sunday the most important day of this weekend pretty much it's going to be barely warm. It's going to be a little breezy out there, but the temperatures you see are going to be pretty nice. So we're going to be in store for the first half of your Sunday. Things are going to be looking just fine. If you have the early, early sunrise services, temperatures are going to be in the mid 40s. So back to where we need to be for this time of the overnight lows to say the least as you make your plans later in the day on Thursday or Sunday, excuse me. Uh, if you're getting out from church, doing some things later in the afternoon, you may want to keep a close eye of the sky. We could see a few passing showers, but nothing to be widespread as you make your way late in the day on Sunday. That'll begin to see the better chance of those rain showers over at lows will be near 40. And again, Easter Monday, if you do have Monday off too, you want to take advantage Later in the day, it's going to be the best time frame to do anything. It looks like late Sunday until most of your half, first day on Monday, first half of the Monday, it's going to be chilly. First of all, we've been spooled with the 70s and 80s for the last several days. This 52 is going to feel really cool to us. Now that's running below normal for this time here. So either way, Sunday is the closest of what we're going to be near average. And then Monday, we're running below average. So uh, you can't really pick and choose. As you know, Virginia weather is at extremities all over the place over the last several uh, decades or so as uh, we're beginning to see a lot of this uh, fluctuation in our climate uh, moving up and down. But again, later in the day on Monday, we may begin to see the rain exit the area with a better chance of rain in the morning through the early afternoon. But if you do have to head to work on Monday, you might have the umbrella uh, and uh, rain gear with you. But again, if you're off for Easter Monday for that extended day off, do take advantage of it. So once again, Saturday, most likely in the morning, we'll begin to see rain. And then later in the day, we'll begin to see the sunshine start to make a little bit of appearance. So if you do have any plans late in the day, on your Saturday, you should be okay. And then again, Sunday morning, a little cool out there, but that is where we need to be for this time of the year for overnight lows right there. You see right on 45, you should be okay with sunrise services. We may get a little cloud cover here or there, but then again, later in the day on Easter, we'll begin to see cloud cover increase. The temperatures are gonna be in the mid sixties. And again, that rain chance will be increasing late Sunday into Monday. Then we'll begin to see a little bit break of the activity as you make your way towards Monday afternoon. 
Again, Tuesday could also be cooler than average. So we're going to run a few degrees below normal as we start to wrap up the middle of the month of April. We're already uh, getting right close uh, to a lot of those uh, spring proms. Of course, next weekend, it is start of the uh, Bassett prom, I believe it is, or Magna Vista. One of the two proms are scheduled for next week, and I'll have a special forecast for you students heading out to prom next weekend, as that is that time of year. And before too long, graduation will be on our doorstep. So go ahead and take advantage of it. Anyone do any photo shoots for Saturday, or you may want to wait until uh, Sunday, or maybe better yet, Saturday afternoon, you should be fine. But if you want to go and get your Easter photo shoots done, get them done tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be breezy out there, but again, it won't be as widespread as rain showers will begin and again for your Sunday. Just keep in mind that that chance of rain does move back in late in the day with more of that continuing into your Monday morning. So hope you'll have a wonderful Easter. Enjoy your time with the family and friends. A lot of egg hunts have gone around the community. Just keep that in mind. The umbrella will be with you as well. It does appear next week. Again, we'll start out cooler and then again, we should rebound back up in the midst of upper 60s once again. So thanks so much for spending part of your time here on BTW21. We wish you a, a wonderful weekend. I will catch you next week. Stay tuned. We have a lot more great local programming heading your way after a quick commercial break. Your BTW21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.